Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and I want to talk to you today about artificial intelligence uh, and how many of you think I need a lot more help with my intelligence, so I need more artificial intelligence. Uh, actually, it's a topic I haven't tackled in a little while, and there's been a lot of goings on, a lot of rumblings around YouTube and around uh, the coin community around the possibilities of artificial intelligence being used specifically in the realm of coin grading. Of course, that's the hot topic for everybody all the time is coin grading. And so what I want to talk to you about today is what's the point of artificial intelligence? I want your feedback on what you think artificial intelligence would do or should do. Because I am not against artificial intelligence, despite what some of you may think. Um, I do think that it can benefit the, the coin community in specific ways. I'm just not sure it's the answer, so to speak. And by the answer, I mean, I think a lot of people are calling for artificial intelligence used in grading to take out the uh, human aspect of it. And uh, the human aspect of it is a fair thing for people to argue. Um, of course, you've seen, possibly seen some of my uh, coin grading videos, my crack out videos, and you can see that, of course, we're, we are all inconsistent. I argue to people and with people that you take some of your coins that you've had and you don't put a grade on the coin, you just write down you know, what grade you think the coin is and you don't look at the coin for six months and then you bring the coin back and you look at it and you grade it again and test yourself against yourself and what you'll find is that you're also very inconsistent um, and this is because we're human, right? So uh, the question is whether or not artificial intelligence solves that problem. So partially that's going to depend on whether or not you're actually getting uh, a program that's going to work, one, which I still doubt, but two, if you're going to get a program that's going to be uh, consistently programmed. In other words, uh, whose eye are you going to train the artificial intelligence to? Um, I would argue that for modern slabbed coins, a scan of a fresh surface that's been untouched, um, you know, I, I do see how artificial intelligence can get you to some technical grade. In this scenario, I would probably blow up the grading system, though, for like modern Silver Eagles and things like that. You know, you just give it a 100-point system and, you know, you call for, uh, you know, this is a 99.9% .9 clean coin and, you know, 98.2%. And, you know, I look, it's a diff totally different than what we're talking about doing right now. But I can see the application. I could see how it could work. Um, my problem still is with artificial intelligence when it comes to coin grading, what it does not fix. And what it does not fix is the coin collecting market's ability to grade coins on their own. So it's kind of like, you know, getting somebody stuck on government subsist assistance and they never get out of it for generations. Right. So, you know, we already rely too much on NGC and PCGS as a coin community. To, we don't grade coins enough ourselves. We're not taking the time to learn how to grade coins. And therefore, you just take whatever coins in a holder uh, and you just say, OK. One of the reasons I do crack out videos is to show you that you can actually get a coin upgraded. Stop laughing. Sometimes they're upgraded. The point is you can cherry pick because if you've trained your eye to grade coins, then you have the opportunity within the marketplace to take advantage of when people have an off day. The coin grader has an off day, they undergrade something, you have an opportunity to take advantage of that situation. Now, I want the coin community to learn how to grade coins. I want uh, a very robust community where people can come in and talk intelligently with one another about why a coin is graded one way or the other. And so artificial intelligence doesn't help with any of that. You have the same scenario. It's just instead of having a, a, a someone who you don't know grading coins behind a veil of secrecy at PCGS or NGC, you now have the veil of secrecy behind some data points. And by the way, let's not pretend that computers cannot be manipulated in some way. Um, let's not pretend that, that everything that is electronic is wholesome and holy and perfect. Because I think that has been one of my main arguments against artificial intelligence is I've encountered way too much computer-aided X, Y, or Z, you know, whatever it is, whether you're trying to deal with a company online, they've got a program that's supposed to be super special and help you, you know, your life's going to be amazing. And uh, my goodness, use Google, use Siri, 
and find out what happens when you ask for information about something. You do not get the best information. The, all of that is programmed, supposed, supposedly is programmed to help you get the right answer, and, and yet none of it is. Okay, fine. Google and Siri don't apply necessarily to artificial intelligence and the coin grading. This is a very niche conversation. So go ahead, unload, leave your comments. What do you think the benefit of artificial intelligence is in the coin grading community? Be as specific as you can about what you think the benefit is for artificial intelligence. Go ahead, leave your comments. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. Uh, watch more videos. Do whatever you want. Have a great day. Bye.